My name is Genesis Whitlock, and I was raised in the beautiful islands of Antigua and Barbuda. Growing up as a kid, I spent a lot of time in my grandma's garden. I loved climbing the tallest trees, learning how to identify local plants, learning about where my food came from helped me learn about myself. But all of this changed during the summer of 2017. Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Maria completely destroyed my neighboring sister island in Barbuda. When Hurricane Irma came, we were not prepared for the devastation. When I realized that the climate crisis was already here, my grandmother and I knew that we needed to act. So we started growing more fruits, more vegetables, more medicinal herbs, exchanging seedlings and slips with people in our community to empower folks to start growing more of their food and building climate resilience, trying to target those who were most affected. The summer after that hurricane, as we continued to redistribute food, I witnessed the seeds of hope finally emerging from the destruction. This is primarily because the land has and always will protect us. In the Caribbean, our relationship to land is being stolen amidst the climate crisis. Access to nutrient-dense food and opportunities for farmers to practice sustainable agriculture are virtually impossible. But this is exactly what we need right now as communities are beginning to see the effects of the climate crisis. Antigua and Barbuda has updated their nationally determined contribution, but it does not in any way outline how marginalized people, including farmers and folks experiencing food insecurity, how they will be protected. Right now in Antigua and Barbuda, we need leaders to commit to the Climate Adaptation Declaration now. Sign the 350 Caribbean Climate Network petition and join me in fighting for climate justice and food sovereignty.